Here we are. We're gonna crack open the outstanding, phenomenal, ba -da -ba. the outdoor kitchen is now open. Ooh, how fancy is that? One of these. Take this little guy, put it on the bottom. Take the long neck. Later, spark her up. Just like that. Oh yeah. It's a burning. Now, I'm gonna take this and put it on top. And there you go. That will take about 15 minutes to get going. You already see it smoking. If you look at the bottom, we've got a fire down there, real nice. And it's cooking it. Before you know it, all this is going to be just nice. Nice, even, burning charcoal. Yeah, here we got um, one of the first timers. It's a dollar store um, timer, uh, kitchen timer. Pick them up at the buck store. I got ones that take AAA, AAA batteries because I couldn't, I didn't want to mess around looking for those little puck batteries, eh? So that's what I do. I uh, set a timer. Right now we're at nine minutes for the coals to get ready. That's how long they've been burning. Okay. And then I upgrade it to an incredible tool for barbecuing and just daily life. Ta-da! What is that, Kenzie? Well, this is um, a time stack by Thermal Works, right there. And the purpose of this, I first got caught on to this, is when I was watching um, uh, USA competitions for barbecuing. So they brought um, barbecue masters from all over um, the US, United States of America. And they have these big, huge cookouts and competitions. And they feed like thousands of people at these gatherings. Eh? I noticed that a lot of these guys, the professional winners, who won the previous years at the, at the competition, were using these. And I was wondering, what is that? So I looked it up and I noticed these things are priceless to have when you're cooking or doing some kind of work or something. Eh? So this is how it works. You got four different times to uh, regulate, and you set here. Okay, so let's just say uh, I'm going to do um, a five five seconds. Okay, five seconds. All right, and then you hit the record button here on the bottom corner, and you record something like. My FB friends and family are the best in the whole world. And you let go. And then... My you FB friends and family are the best in the whole world. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I set it. I hit the set button. And then I wanted to do... I could set this timer for hours or minutes or seconds. We're using it for seconds. And then I played on. My FB friends and family are the best in the whole world. Again? My FB <laughs> friends and family are the best in the whole world. And then you hit stop. And then you go, you reset it. So I hit set again. I'm going to clear it down here to zero. And I can set timers for everything. Like, say that I'm, I'm busy... Uh, uh, doing some woodwork work or some some kind of other job and I got something cooking on the stove I could say this <clears throat> We'll give it 10 seconds. Okay Okay, hit record Mayday mayday check the stove the stove the stove Mayday mayday Go like that and then set Mayday mayday check the stove the stove the stove Mayday mayday so there you go, I'll set that one. And then I do the second one. 
here. I'll set it at, eh, we'll say 15 seconds. No, 13, 12 seconds. Okay, 12 seconds here. So I'll do a record. Don't forget to pick up the laundry. Don't forget to pick up the laundry. Okay. And then I'll set it. Don't forget to pick up the laundry. Don't forget to pick up the laundry. Okay. So that's in 12 seconds. And another one at 15 seconds. One, five. I can, I can make this anything. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. And then I'll set that. And the last one, we'll do it for 20 seconds. Record. Put your pencils down. The test is over. Put your pencils down. And set. Okay, so we're going to start them all. Ready? One, two, three, four. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Mayday, mayday, check the stove. Don't forget to pick up the laundry. Don't forget to pick, clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up, put your pencils down. The test is over. Put your pencils down. Put your pencils down, the test. And stop all of them. And it tells you how much time was it that your la when it was triggered, eh? Your voice recording. So I use this for my barbecuing to monitor how long my food has been sitting on there to remind me. You gotta flip the burger or or check your barbecue, check your heat, you know. It's great. Great for studies, studying, you know. Take a break after an hour. Take a break, take a break, mayday, take a break, go for a walk, that kind of thing, eh? It's a great it's a great tool to have. In everyday life, especially when I'm cleaning the house, you know, I'll say 20 minutes on the bathroom, and then it will click off saying to the next one, it will say, okay, take a, you got a 15 minute break, you got a 15 minute break, and then it clicks off in 15 minutes, and it goes, hey, you, time to work on the kitchen, do the dishes, do the dishes, you know, it's a great tool to have anyways, so the only thing is I use it so much, I go through a lot of 9 volt batteries, eh? It takes a 9 volt battery. So, it goes through a lot. <laughs> okay, so, there we go. Alrighty, so if you see here, all the bottom coals are nice and uh, red. They're all ready for the pour, eh? I don't mind about the top, because when I pour it, all the hot coals are going to sit on top of these cooler coals on top, eh? So, it's ready to go. Grab my safety gloves, <laughs> insulated leather gloves, work gloves. Very cool. And here we go. Let me just pour them. Look at that, eh? Ain't, ain't that pretty, pretty. That's so pretty. Now, one thing I like to do is keep them on one side. That would be my hot zone on that side. But. I'm going to grab a couple of baguettes, right? And just sprinkle the baguettes on this side. Whoa. Okay, just like that. Because I always, I always run out of uh, heat when I'm cooking it. 17 minutes, about 17 minutes, 18 minutes, eh? When I poured this. Yeah, the coals are usually ready in 15 minutes. When it stops smoking, I can see the the heat of the coals inside inside that heater part. I know they're ready. So we got all this ready. I already cleaned off my grill. I, I scratched it with uh, simple tin foil, right? There's lots of leftover tin foil you have. I save it up, and all I do. Is that goes real fast. Okay, just like that, eh? 
Just like that. See what's happening? And as you put pressure, it makes those nice grooves and it sinks in between the grate, grate and it cleans out on the sides. Okay, this is ready to go. Beautiful. So I'll just save that for later. Put it on the bottom. Now the idea of putting a lid on your barbecue is simple. The heat is coming up this way, on this side of the barbecue. So I don't want the heat to escape. If I put the lid on like that, the heat's just gonna go straight up and out. I want a, I want an oven kind of effect, eh? A smoking kind of effect. So I'll turn it over. This way, the heat will come up, hit the top of this, and travel across, and go like in a cycle and come out at the back end. I want that kind of, so I have a hot burning cooking station on this side, but on this side, I'll have a warming station to keep the meat, to keep the food warm. That's the whole trick about these barbecues, eh? And plus I get to see with the gauge here, I'll get to see just how hot it is. When it hits over 400, I'm ready for my meat, okay? If I flip this around, spin it around, and this was on that side, it wouldn't give me an accurate read of where the fire is, the hottest part is. And I want to monitor that. All right. So, I'm going to put the ribs here in the middle. What I like to do with the potato is um, I'll stab it with a fork, my potatoes. And once it's all nicely washed and ready, eh? Well, everything's going to cook on the, on the warm and center just to bring it up to temp. Okay, it dropped already below 300. It was close to 4, now it's down to 300 because it kept the lid open. But I take my potato, I give it a good scrub and leave the peel on. I see any dark spots, I'll cut them out with a uh, pear knife and then I, I get a plate and I plop some uh, butter on there, right? And then once I get the butter in there, I kind of like, just like you do with corn and cob, eh? You know, you roll it into your hot and cob into the butter. Well, you do the same thing with the washed potato. You coat it with butter, put it on the tin foil, and you get your own kind of spice that you want for your potato. I like garlic, some garlic on mine, you know? So I spread a little garlic on there to make it like a, um, a garlic butter. And then I wrap it up in the tin foil. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you have to stab your potato with a fork. It will cook more evenly and, and cook right into the middle of your potato. So stab it a few times, and then wrap it up in the tin foil, and then throw it on your barbecue. Alrighty, so this is going to take a while. So we got my timer up. One, five... Zero, zero, 15 minutes, record, hey KNZ, check the ribs, check the ribs, rib time, check, hey KNZ, check the ribs, check the ribs, rib time, check, I like it, I'll set that, 15 minutes, and it's a go, so I can set these ones up later too. But for now, that's a good start. I'm going to put that on my table, my work table. I got 15 minutes to do a little yard work and tidying up. So I'll be back in 15.